Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Today I'm going to discuss basal ganglia. So first, a ganglia. What is a ganglia? A ganglia is a collection of neuronal bodies found in the voluntary and autonomic branches of the peripheral nervous system. Ganglia is a synaptic relay station between neurons. The information enter the ganglia, excite the neuron in the ganglia and then exit. These are the swelling which are located outside of the spinal cord and contain the body of the neuron which are gray color. The body of the neuron are gray colored and this swelling is called ganglia. This ganglia is different from the basal ganglia. So what is the basal ganglia? The basal ganglia are collection of gray matter nuclei deep to the white matter of cerebral cortex. These are the nuclei which are located deeply in the white matter of the cerebral cortex. The basal ganglia are set of subcortical nuclei that receive input from the in-child cortex and send output via the thalamus to different parental cortical area. This, these nuclei receive information from the cortex and then by way of thalamus then these impulses are sent to different area of the cortex. Remember the in brain the cortex is made of gray matter. Several parallel and segregated close corticostriatal thalamocortical loops serve a role in the selecting desirable action and suppressing undesirable ones. The basal ganglia thereby contribute a number of processes including planning, decision making, action selection, learning, sequencing and the initiation and limitation of moments. This portion involved in all these actions. The name of basal nuclei. These nuclei include caudate nucleus, putamen nucleus, nucleus accumbens, globus pallidus, substantia nigra, subthalamic nucleus and histologically the clostrum and the amygdala. Subgroup of these nuclei are the striatum which contain this nucleus, cordate nucleus, putamen and nucleus accumbens. Phylogenetically, corpus striatum which is formed from the paleostriatum and neostriatum. The lentiform nucleus is composed of two parts, a lateral part putamen and a medial part globus pallidus. Here in this picture I will magnify it for you. This is the lentipus nucleus which contains the putamen and the globus pallidus and the cardiac the globus pallidus is relatively ancient and named paleostriatum and the cardiac nucleus in the putamen being recently is developed collectively create the new striatum. The cardiac nuclei the cardiac nuclei they are two in number one on each side of the brain can be found below the cerebral cortex. This is the cardiac nucleus. They are the cardiac is a C-shaped structure with a thick anterior portion called the head which which become narrow as it extends towards the back of the brain. The middle portion of the cardiac is known as the body and this taper up into the tail of the cardiac nucleus and end in the amygdala. The end portion of the cardiac nucleus is called amygdala. So this is the head, body, tail and amygdala. The nucleus accumbens is considered the ventral striatum which can be subdivided into the nucleus accumbens core and shield, middle and lateral. There this is the nucleus accumbens. It has a core component apart or the surrounding part which is called the shield. The nucleus accumbens shield is considered the most rostral portion of the extended amygdala and is out of a transmission zone between the striatum and the amygdala. The end of the cardiac nucleus amygdala and it is most near to the amygdala and information between the, these two structures are easily transferred. Globus pallidus. The globus pallidus can be functionally divided into two main parts. Medial internal segment. It has two parts. The globus pallidus. 
medial to the putamen and it has two parts the inner the middle part is called the internal globus pallid pallidus and lateral or external segment this is called the lateral segment or the external globus pallidus the main function of the globus pallidus is movement control it control movements of the body more specifically it regulate conscious and voluntary movements in addition globus pallidus connect to cortical area that support various function including motivation and cognition striatum the cardiac is situated next to putamen this is putamen and it is is putamen and next to cardiac the cardiac is situated next to the putamen and is linked to the putamen by bridge of gram matter which cause the connection between the two structure this give the striatum a strip of merens the cardiac and the cardiac by a bridge of gram matter and it give a strip of merens because of this the cardiac and putamen along with the nucleus accumbens which is adjacent to both structure are collectively referred as striatum mean strips here you can see this is the putamen and next to the putamen is the cardiac nucleus in large picture of the putamen and cardiac nucleus Be under this portion of the cardiac we have a putamen the corpus striatum topographically it split into cardiac nucleus and lentiform nucleus by a band of nerve fiber the internal capsule the cardiac and lentiform nucleus are separated by fiber of internal capsule the fiber pass in the internal capsule bring information from the thalamus or midbrain to the cortex and from cortex to the thalamus across the anterior limb of the internal capsule the anterior and anterior end of these nuclei remain linked by a number of band of gray matter this is the cardiac nucleus anterior this is the anterior portion and the inferior portion they connect by gray matter with the lentiform nucleus these give it a striated look therefore the name corpus striatum is given to it lentiform nucleus and the cardiac nucleus together are called corpus striatum substantia nigra the substantia nigra is a part of basal ganglia forming connection with different part of the brain it produce dopamine which control movement and muscle tone this is the substantia nigra and it produce the dopamine which control the movement of body the substantia nigra has two different set it has two portions represented by these two colors one the first one is the substantia nigra pars reticulata this section has connection relating to the movement of your eye and your ability to learn and think the cell is then the cell in this area of your brain hold a chemical called gamma amino butyric acid or gaba g a b a this chemical inhibit activity in brain cell brain cause it to redirect and stop signals that is decided shouldn't go out to the muscle substantia nigra pars compacta the other portion is called the pars compacta neuron here hold a chemical called dopamine that's why this section has connection that involve emotion ability to learn how you judge risk and reward So let's summarize the nuclei of the basal ganglia. The basal ganglia nuclei. The basal ganglia is composed of cardiac nucleus, putamen nucleus, globus pallidus, which has two parts: globus pallidus externus and globus pallidus internus. The substantia nigra, which is located in the midbrain region the subthalamic nucleus and and corpus striatum when globus pallidus and cardiac nucleus together are called striatum the other nuclei is the lentiform nucleus 
which look like a lens and it is consists of globus pallidus internus and globus pallidus externus and putamen nucleus these two structures are called lentiform nucleus which contain putamen and globus pallidus and it look like the lens the other nuclei is the thalamus and between the striatum and thalami or fibers which connect the cerebral cortex and the which connect the brain stem with the cerebral cortex so these are the nuclei and with also there are ascending and descending tract between these nuclei these fiber which ascend and descend and connect the brain stem and cerebral cortex is called internal capsule here is the caudate nucleus this is the putamen the globus pallidus externus and the globus pallidus internus and these are the thalami here are the ventricles and between the globus pallidus and thalami these are the fiber of internal capsule which connect the cerebral cortex and the brain stem there are two pathway main pathway of the basal ganglia one is a direct pathway and the other is the indirect pathway so let us discuss the direct pathway first the direct pathway fibers or neuron originate in the cerebral cortex these fiber enter the putamen and these fiber are excitatory in nature fiber also enter from the cortex to the caudate nucleus these both nucleus are called striatum and they are excitatory both in the caudate nucleus and in the putamen nucleus from putamen and caudate nucleus inhibitory neurons which release inhibitory neurotransmitters gaba enter the globus pallidus internus and from globus pallidus internus inhibitory neuron enter the thalamus here these neuron further inhibit the inhibitory effect on the neuron which enter from the thalamus to the cerebral cortex and this phenomena which inhibit the inhibitory neuron further is called disinhibition and this disinhibition cause excitation of the neuron which enter from the thalamus to the cerebral cortex excite them and excitatory impulses enter from the cerebral thalamus to the cerebral cortex the neurotransmitter which is released in the putamen and the globus pallidus is glutamate which is excitatory and the neurotransmitter which are released in the globus pallidus internus or inhibitory in this called gaba gamma amino butyric acid and also in the thalamus and they cause inhibition or disinhibition and then excitatory impulses enter to the cerebral cortex and then these excitatory impulse enter from the cerebral cortex to the internal capsule to the brain stem and then by pyramidal tract to the lower motor neuron and then the effector organs the basal ganglia indirect pathway 
In indirect pathway, the cerebral cord from cerebral cortex again excitatory neuron enter to the putamine and caudate nucleus. And from putamine, inhibitory neuron enter to the globus pallidus externus. From globus pallidus externus, inhibitory neuron which release GABA enter to the subthalamic nuclei. In subthalamic nuclei, these inhibitory neuron cause excitation of the neuron which enter from the subthalamic nuclei to the globus pallidus internus. Here, the excitatory neuron which release glutamate enter to the globus pallidus internus and again this inhibition uh, again from here inhibitory neuron enter to the thalamus and again it causes disinhibition and excitatory neuron enter into the cerebral cortex and the same cycle is repeated that through internal capsule the brain stem, stem is connected and from the brain stem the apex neuron are then sent to the lower motor neuron and then to the apector organ by somatomotor neurons. And other pathway is from substantia nigra, which send neuron to the putamine and here they release dopamine. The neuron which enter from the substantia nigra to the putamine release dopamine. In the putamine there are two receptors D1 and D2. Dopamine 1 receptor and dopamine 2 receptor. Dopamine 1 receptor in nature is excitatory and it combined with the excitatory neuron from the cerebral cortex and cause excitation of the striatal neuron and send inhibitory impulses to the globus pallidus internus and from globus pallidus internus inhibitory neuron enter to the thalamus and from thalamus to the cerebral cortex. The substantia nigra which release dopamine in the putamine when it excites the D2 receptor they are inhibitory in nature and they send inhibitory impulses to the globus pallidus externus. From globus pallidus externus inhibitory impulses or neurotransmitter are released in the subthalamic nuclei. This inhibitory neurotransmitter, the GABA, excite the neuron which enter from the thalamus to the globus pallidus internus and release glutamate. These glutamate cause disinhibition or release inhibitory neuron from globus internus. Inhibitory neuron which release dopamine enter to the thalamus and it cause disinhibition. Again it cause disinhibition of the neuron which enter from the thalamus to the cerebral cortex. So inhibitory and excitatory impulses which are regulated by the dopamine enter from the enter from the thalamus to the cerebral cortex and in this way from cerebral cortex through the internal capsule impulses are sent to the brain stem and these impulses are finely tuned and by this tuning the organ perform its function properly. The basal ganglia internal process for motor control, there are two main circuits 
the direct pathway and the indirect pathway. These circuits have opposing action when activated by cortical neuron. The circuits are also modulatory by dopamine released by the substantia nigra into the striatum. These circuits have opposing action when one type of muscle, when flexors are contracting, so the extensors are relaxing, and when the ext extensor muscles are contracting, the flexor muscles are relaxing, and in this way, fine movements are carried out. And this is modulated by the dopamine which is released by the substantia nigra into the striatum. It is believed that the different control mechanism allow a finely tuned balance between the direct and indirect circuit, which allow for refined control of moment. So this is the direct pathway here from cerebral cortex, excitatory neuron enter to the potamine and caudate nucleus which together are called the striatum and they release glutamine, they are glutamatergic neuron in nature and release glutamine and from glutamine inhibitory neuron enter to the globus pallidus internals release GABA these inhibitory neuron when enter to the thalamus cause disinhibition and cause excitation of the neuron which enter from the thalamus to the cerebral cortex and cause excitation or of the cerebral cortex or there are sig excitatory sig signal enter from the thalamus or excitatory neuron enter from the thalamus to the cerebral cortex. In the indirect pathway, the cerebral cortex send excitatory neuron to the putamine release glutamate which are which is excitatory neurotransmitter from here impulses enter to the globus pallidus externus from globus pallidus externus inhibitory neuron enter to the subthalamic nuclei and cause disinhibition from subthalamic nuclei excitatory neuron enter to the globus pallidus internus and then inhibitory neuron enter to the thalamus and from thalamus excitatory neuron enter to the cerebral cortex. The cardiac nucleus and putamine nucleus together is called striatum. From substantia nigra dopaminergic neuron enter to the putamine and D D2 receptor or dopamine 2 receptor are inhibitory in nature, inhibitory signal enter into the globus pallidus externus from globus pallidus externus again inhibitory neuron enter to the subthalamic nuclei, subthalamic nuclei excitatory neuron enter to the globus pallidus internus and then inhibitory to the thalamus and from thalamus excitatory neuron enter to the cerebral cortex. So this inhibition and excitation, excitation by the D1 and inhibition by the D2 neurotransmitter from the substantia nigra modulate and regulate the fine moments and allow balance moment of the organ. Please subscribe the channel and write down your valuable comment in the comment box for the improvement of the channel. I also like the channel.